Hello everybody, my name's Ian Harris and I work for West Technology Forensics. Uh, today I'd like to introduce to you the BMD360 uh, and the BMD360 is used to develop latent finger marks on all types of evidence ranging from porous, non-porous or semi-porous exhibits. So, what is BMD? What does it stand for? BMD stands for Vacuum Metal Deposition. And how does it work? Well, what it's doing is laying down very thin layers of metal onto your exhibit to develop the latent print that's there. So, the BMD 360 is made up of a vacuum chamber, and this is where we're going to do the processing. Inside the vacuum chamber, we place our evidence onto an evidence holder. In this instance, we have a flat evidence holder where we preloaded uh, a piece of paper where we have a latent print present. And we have a control piece of, pe piece of paper there, uh, which you should always use uh, when you're doing your processing to prove that the process is working correctly. So I'm going to load this back in now. We also have a curved evidence holder, and I'll show you that. And we use this to mount larger pieces of e exhibit um, on the internal surface on this curved area here. So what I've done is I have preloaded uh, both gold and zinc into the uh, evaporation boats inside the chamber. Uh, so we're ready to go. And uh, the gold and zinc uh, that we use are very, very small. Uh, the gold is used every time we do a process and the zinc will last for probably around about 10 processes. And each process that we do will cost around somewhere between $2 or if you're in the UK, £1.50 a process. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the process uh, on the system. And to do that I use uh, our control screen here, uh, which is made up of icons. So it's very easy to use and very familiar to people that have a, a smartphone. So I'm going to press the processing button and it will start the process. Immediately it goes to a, a, a vacuum gauge screen. Uh, that's so that uh, you can see the process working. And as the vacuum improves, then the screen changes color from red to green. So I'm going to leave that working now and we'll come back to the system when we're ready to go. Okay, so the BMD 360 is now ready to uh, carry out a process and uh, you can see that the control screen is changed over to the processing screen. So the first thing I need to do is activate the gold boat. And we have two options available to us. We can either do a manual evaporation using the control knob on the front or we can do an automatic uh, process. So on this occasion, I'm going to do an automatic one. So I'm going to press the automatic process button here, and we can see that it's starting to carry out the process. Now what's going to happen now is a uh, high current is being placed through the boat, and it will start to glow and evaporate the gold. So, the gold evaporation is completed now, so what we need to do to visualise the mark is to lay down some zinc on top. And once again, we have two options. We can either carry out a manual process or an automatic one. So I'm just going to activate the boat so it's ready to do that. 
what it's doing is it's adjusting the vacuum in the chamber to the correct position to carry out the zinc evaporation. It's ready to go now, so what I'm going to do to start the process is I'm going to press the button on our handset here. And the zinc evaporation process is starting. Okay, so we put some zinc onto the exhibit now and it looks like it's developed some latent prints there. So I'm going to stop the process. And I'm going to take the exhibit out of the chamber. So to do that, we open the door. Okay, so uh, the process is finished and we're ready to open the door. bring our evidence out and yeah so we've managed to process some latent prints on our evidence here so to help our customers what West Technology does is produce an application guide uh, and in the application guide it gives uh, all the metals that should be used on different types of exhibits so you get the most effective processing. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope this has been useful for you.